Hi, Kevin Purcell, Notebooks.com. This is Photos. This is the beta version that comes in OS 10.10.3 Yosemite. I want to show it off to you. When you first open it up, it looks pretty simple. In fact, uh, it scared me at first. I thought, oh no, Apple has done it again. First of all, what you want to do is you want to go and see these arrow buttons up here. Uh, click them. You can click two spaces at a time. There's sort of three levels of seeing your photos and videos. Uh, you click it first and it goes from that year look, which, which you originally get, to a, uh, these are what they call moments. This is a range of dates and then they organize it not only by date but also by location, if there's location information in the file. And then you click it again and we get uh, an arrangement that is on a single date. So these are photos all taken on one date. Notice I can change the size of them up here. And if I want, going to the other end of the toolbar, there's a search function. So let's uh, search for trees. If I open that up, I can see it. If I really like it, I can make it a favorite. I can get the information about it on this toolbar. Or I can use the plus button to add it to an album, create a, uh, add it to a photo book, a calendar project, uh, a card. We'll talk more about these in a moment. But in this info button, notice that it, you can add a title. It gives you the file name, the date that it was, and time it was taken. It gives you what camera you use to take it, uh, as well as uh, the resolution, file size, and file format. And then you get a map, which is nice. You can zoom out and find out exactly where you took that. We'll exit out of that. The tabs across the top here, this is the photos section, which is what we were looking at. And then we have shared photos. These are all photos I shared in a fam uh, photo family album. These are albums that have been created. Use that arrow, you can see larger or smaller icons of it. This first album shows you all your photos. These are albums that you've created or that were created for you, or you can make your own using this plus button. You can create a new album, give it uh, a title, or <clears throat> You know what you can add them to these albums or you can uh, make a new one with a title there we're not going to do that yet projects Apple does a great job of printing projects if you want to create a new project uh, you can create books calendars cards or prints these are some of the projects or you can create new albums or smart albums and then a slideshow and then um, uh, print those up for example if we created a new book Let's say I wanted a 13 by 9 book, use the travel log theme. It's going to create it for me and open the cover, select some of these options, and then I can add photos to it. Um, <laughs> let's find out a photo real quick that might fit this. All right. So let's. Uh, We've got the photo here. Let's add it. And you can add more. Or you, you notice that it brings up the filters so you can change the way that initial photo would look. If you want to buy the book or if you want to set up details about it, change some of the layout information, that kind of thing, add a page. But we're going to get back out of here. delete the project because I don't want to use that right now. Importing is simple. Uh, I've got a video, a, an SD card in this computer and I can import any of these, select some of them, import just the selected. You can delete it after or you can import all of them. It behaves just like it does in iPhoto and in Aperture. Alright, so let's go back to our photos. I've got this one, one of my photos that I've taken. I have favorited it up here. And let's say I wanted to edit this. If I edit it, the screen goes dark. By default, you'll see this. These are all the photos in this uh, album. So if you wanted, you could edit a different photo. But uh, we'll stick with, let's see, where's our photo at? I've lost it. Alright, there we go. That's our photo. I noticed it because it has this shadow down here. So, first thing you can do is hit the Enhance button, and that 
does its best job at trying to auto correct all the things like exposure and you know saturation and things like that if I want I can rotate it you just uh, hit the button once like that uh, what I want to do is crop it notice that I've got this shadow down here and I've got these uh, vignette shadows in the corner because based on the lens that I was using there's a lens review for the iPhone so I'm going to take out those shadows I'm in the freeform down here there's the aspect ratio and you can change it it defaults to freeform but you can make it the original square 16 by 9 typical photographic uh, formats I can flip it if I'd like which I won't you can auto crop it that's kind of an interesting thing let's uh, revert back to the original and hit this auto crop and see what it does for us now in this photo it didn't do a whole lot notice here it gives you some rotation I can rotate it up to 45 degrees again I don't like that you can always go back to the way it was by hitting that revert but let's again we'll go back we'll get rid of these vignettes in the corner and the shadow my shadow in the bottom and we are ready that's the way I like it now again you may want to hit that it doesn't want to uh, stop you may want to hit that enhance button again it doesn't do anything new now the filters it's got some ugly filters I don't care for them maybe if you wanted to I don't know change it to black and white or mono or something like that but we won't do that oh, edit undo revert to in original let's go back and just make it like it it was before and then here's where you get the most advanced features the adjustments tool now it opens with the light adjustment and the color adjustment notice if I hit that it gives the uh, reset that's after I've made adjustments I can reset it or I can remove that adjustment or let's say we want to remove it I don't normally use the black and white so I'm gonna get rid of that one and I'm gonna add a histogram at the top the sharpen tool definition and white balance and then vignette because I like that at the end we're gonna go with levels now notice I have to scroll through these to see these it always shows you the histogram there you can get rid of that if you don't like it and the way you make these edits first you can hit the auto which is what has already happened with this enhance now notice it's got the vignette it's really got too much vignette in here and so I like a little but I don't like it real strong this changes the radius of it makes it bigger or smaller and how soft it is but we're gonna leave it like that now just basic photo editing 101 a lot of people like to edit with the levels and they change these levels using these um, tabs here you know you can drag them and such in order to do that I don't do that you can notice you can shoot change different kinds but what I always do I crop and then I correct white balance grab this notice it's saying pick something that's neutral gray alright that white balanced it but it really didn't do a very good job of it because I didn't really pick the best thing so let's correct it to what will look good I think and I think that that looks pretty good it's a little maybe a little warm I don't know but I think it, I think it looks good now you want to correct color uh, or, or light rather and so you correct the things like exposure highlights shadows for example some of the shadows here the darkest parts of the image could really use some more exposure set it up a little bit get it brighter and then uh, if your highlights are a little overexposed you can move them down see how that gets rid of them you don't want to get rid of that much that makes it look a little bit better and then color you may want some saturation I think auto gave it just enough I'm not going to go any more there and then finally you want to sharpen it and it's sharpened it pretty good you can find the edges and then fall off now if you click in here notice how I'm clicking and dragging now this last one is 
something that you would use to uh, get rid of things you don't like. And notice this changes the size of it. For example, look at this little tree sticking up. Let's say I wanted to get rid of that. All right. And it kind of fills it in with stuff around it to make it look a little better. I could maybe get rid of these things on the bark, although that looks bad, so I wouldn't want to do that. Hit Control Z and it'll go back one step. Um, I can't really see too much in here that I'd want to get rid of, but you get the idea of how that works. Now you can drag it like I did with this thing, or you can just click it once. If you use keyboard shortcuts, your left and right bracket makes this smaller and bigger. Or you can use the option click. You hit the option on your keyboard and say we were going to get rid of this barn off in the distance. This isn't going to look good, but we're going to do it just to show you. Hit the option, click, and then make it a little bigger. And notice it's filled in that area. Now that looks terrible. I would never do that with this photo, but that gives you the idea of how it works. So again, we will go back and fix that. We've got our finished product, which I kind of like. So we hit done. Now if I wanted to, I could order this as a print and auto size it. And uh, make it a gl glossy finish. And then I can hit order the print and it will allow me to do that. Or if you want instead, let's cancel that cancel the order um, <laughs> let's find our photo again searching for it and after you're done with it you could just print it yourself which is a better way to do it now there's one thing I didn't show you yet and that is a smart album what is a smart album for example if you create a new smart album these give it a title so Let's say we want to do all iPhone, if I could type iPhone 6 Plus. So the, let's say the camera model is, includes iPhone 6 Plus. Notice there's 110 that matched it. Okay. So now we've got a new album of all the photos in my library that were shot with that. If I go back out here, what am I going to find? I am going to find... There it is, right there. This is a new smart album. Notice that you get this uh, thing here. You can change these conditions. Let's say I don't want just that. I can add another condition. Maybe I'd like it to have with faces. Face includes... And I've got a photo in here with my son Daniel. All right, so that's another condition. And if we wanted, or you can get rid of a condition. So those are smart albums. I really like that feature. This has been Kevin Purcell with the Photos app that is part of the OS 10.10.3 operating system which is currently in beta and I think that Apple has done a nice job it's got a good start on this I hope that they add back some new features and make it a little bit more like Aperture for now if you're an Aperture user hold on to Aperture or move over to Lightroom because Photos is not going to be enough for you but if you use primarily iPhoto then I think you'll appreciate this after some getting used to the new features this has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com with Photos Thanks for watching.